All my bags are packed, I'm ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye. Hi, I'm Jamie Anderson. And I'm Nina from Nina Music. And in this video, we're going to teach you how to jam. It really comes in handy if you're playing with a group of people and it's a song you've never heard. Or maybe you're preparing for a performance, doing an open mic or your own set or something like that, and you're not sure what to do because your buddy plays guitar too, and you want to do something slightly different. So here are some ideas and some fun things to do, even if you've never heard the song before. So one of the things that you can do is you can play different kinds of chords, which is what we were just doing. Nina was playing the open chords and I was playing bar chords. And if you're like, oh, bar chords, I have some lesson videos for you. And you can check underneath here and there are some links about how to improve your bar chords. Because bar chords are pretty cool things, right? They are. Yeah, yeah. Um, another thing that you can do is one of you can strum and one of you can finger pick. So uh, why don't we just stick with leaving on a jet plane? Okay. I like that song. Sounds good. All right. So um, are you going to finger pick or am I? I'll strum. Okay. She's going to strum. I'm going to use my pick because it's a little louder than picking with my fingers. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye. So can you hear that I was plucking out the individual strings? That's called arpeggio picking. You can also finger pick with your fingers, but sometimes finger picking done with your fingers doesn't uh, stand out when someone's using a pick like Nina. It's too loud. That's what it is. Is it? Okay. Just, no, I can. I'm kidding. <laughs> like whatever. But you know, sometimes if you're just jumping into a jam, you have to like figure things out on the fly, and that's one of the things that you can do. What's another thing you can do? Two strums. Absolutely. And you know, a lot of uh, students ask me, well, what's the right strum for this song? Some songs there is no right strum. As long as you're playing in the right time signature, you're good to go. So what's going to happen is we're going to play uh, a bit of Leaving on a Jet Plane again. Nina's going to do down, down, up, up, down, up. You want to play that? And I'm going to play down, down, up, down, down, up. Different strums, but they're both in 4 4. Ready, and all my bags are packed. Say you're jumping into a jam or playing with a friend and they're playing a song that you've never heard before what do you do well one of the things I like to do is I like to look and see if they're playing a chord that I know and then I'm gonna key on the in on that chord and I'm gonna play it every time they're playing it yeah um, that's that's actually how my nephew learned to play he was like 12 years old and he jammed with my dad and my brother and he's like what are you doing I said you know a G chord play a G chord every time it rolls around and now you know he's doing gigs it's wow great. yeah yeah so um, we're gonna do leaving on a jet plane again I hope y'all aren't too tired of that song but we like it and um, and Nina's gonna be the person who stumbles upon the jam and really wants to play but doesn't exactly know the song so she's just gonna hit that G every time it rolls around all my bags are packed I'm ready to go I'm standing like John Denver does it. <laughs> well, not quite. Um, <laughs> um, so if you want to advance even further, really impress people with your guitar skills, you could play lead. And I know a lot of you are afraid of lead. You think that, oh, only people like Jimi Hendrix can play lead. Not so. If you know a major pentatonic scale, which is only five notes, you can play lead with almost any song. And uh, Nina's going to show you how to play a major pentatonic scale in the key of G. We're going to start on the 4th fret of the G string, of the 3rd string. Mm -hmm. 
So any of those notes will fit in the key of G. And if you're not sure what key it's in, generally whatever chord the song starts on, that's your key. Not always, but that's a general rule of thumb. So here's a close-up for that major pentatonic scale. So let's see how that fits in. I'm going to play a little bit of Leaving on a Jet Plane, and I'm going to look at our lead player, and she's going to play notes from the G major pentatonic scale. Here we go. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. I hate to wake you up. to play? I just played the pattern and sometimes I repeated them. So I just try to pick out whatever notes I can. That's the beauty about the pentatonic scale is that all the notes are right. <laughs> I know, isn't that great? What if life was like that? Everything we did was right. Oh, that would be a phenomenal. Like you can build a scale around two notes. And I think Neil Young has done that a couple of times. <laughs> and you all know what a big Neil Young fan I am. So yeah, that, that, that's cool. So, All right, so those are some of the things that you can do when you're jamming. And uh, be sure to support us by buying us a coffee. It's only $3. I'll put a link somewhere in this site or underneath here. Check out our websites, ninamusic.com, jamieanderson.com. We both teach and we both perform. And if you want to know more about original music, you can find it there. And what else? I think that might, you know, check out the lessons. I got over 400 lessons for beginning and intermediate guitar players. I also teach ukulele and mandolin, and you can support me on Patreon. And I think that's just enough blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, just keep playing. Keep playing, and don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss any of my lessons or Nina's lessons. Thanks, everybody.